there now okay it's uh now it's uh because i had to have that flash there to archive this okay so what i'm doing here is uh, i'm archiving all of all of Bur uh, all of uh, uh all of bell's text messages now as you see this is for the year 2013 so this is going back in the day so i'm going to try to do this but I'm doing this because my phone is like on its last legs and it's more effective to do this and, and less tiresome than a transcript. You know, you can do transcripts accurately, but if you can show it directly from the phone, I mean, there's, you know, you, you don't have the, the deniability very much, you know, the, of the text and stuff. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing all of them today. I hope I can do it. This phone was cutting out before. That's what I'm saying. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back down. What do you got? January third. I think it starts at, at, at January first, the first of the year, for this. There. So that's the first one. So I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna. It's self-explanatory. Oh, this is coming out great. Look at that. Now all I gotta do is remember just to push this button and go forward. So, you know, every time she changed her number, I would, I put this under Stephanie Brown, which was one of her names, but she'll say it's Belle in there. Okay. So there, there now. Okay. I can get the time. I can get the times in there, you know, go back. Don't. Okay. This is great because it's doing the times too as well. Okay. So now let's get the right angle so I can get it right. This is working out well. My camera in macro mode. So no more commentary. And this is where I was telling her, it's like, you know, you trashed my computer here. You know, you, you, you trashed all my clothes. And you, and you won't even make any amends. So I told her, I'm not going to talk to you if you replace my computer. You know, because now she's, you know, now she's got the money. So th this is where she was staying with her sister. And when you see this forward here, oh, well, I'll, I'll do it all the way down too. You know, I'm just I mean, instead of writing the whole thing when she calls, I would just, I, I would just do this. No computer. Acer laptop, no, no talk. I'm not talking to you. Till you replace my computer that you trashed. Same thing here. This is working out well. I must say. So every time she would call, I would, I would flip it back with this message. You know? So that's all I'm doing. Instead of taking the time to shorten it to, to do this, I would just forward it to her. See, it, and, it, and it, she kept calling, so I just kept flipping this back. I ain't gonna talk to you until you until you replace my laptop, which is not that much to ask, especially when she when she got money, you know. There, there you go. It's like, this is where she was saying, you know, when, when she went to her sister's house, this is what I'm talking about. You know, she told me that basically her sister was into witchcraft and had her, had her own children, you know, casting spells, which is like, this is what she does. But here's the thing that she doesn't know is that I've, I archived all of those things. I, I started to get into the habit of archiving all the, uh, you know, uh, when my phone here, you know, it is, it, you know, it worked out that, here's another one. It, it works out that, I, you know, the phone drops out, so I always had to plug it in over there. And what I used to, what I took to doing was just leaving the phone, but what she doesn't know is that I've been, I've been archiving these, these, 
these conversations that we've had. The one where she, the one where she, uh, she told me that, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, all, in every step of the way, because I think, from my personal experience, I think that she, that she acts more like a borderline personality disorder than what that is. I'm not a doctor, but what I'm doing is I, I've got all that, all, all the data. You know, it, it's like I said, but the problem that arises with me, I've got like years of, uh, of these, these calls. You know, you know, like a, as a basically, you know, archived. And there's tons of one on my computer. But unfortunately, right now, uh, I, I just, I, I got lazy. And it's a dot V, it, it saved as a dot VOC file. And that's from, from my digital recorder. I hacked around the way to, to take, you know, because what I didn't like was the quality, the quality of the, uh, the quality of the, uh, Look, I didn't like the quality uh, that I was going to, that I was getting, trying to record, you know, a, you know, like playing, playing the recorder and then making a waveform because you're going to hear ambient noise on there and it's not, it's not good. So what I did was basically, was, uh, uh, I hacked a way to, to, to take them directly off my, you know, it involved, it involved taking it apart. And it involved, you know, uh, uh, some alligator clips. And I was able to take the, the .voc files off of my digital recorder and put them all on my computer. You know, it, you know, I know how to do that. But the thing is, the problem that arises is that it's all saved and archived as a .voc file. So basically, you know, what I got now... I don't, you know, uh, the one I was in the shelter, I had the, the program on my computer to translate the VOC files to, to a WAV file, which I needed. But the thing is, Bell, when, when, she, when she attacked me, she threw my computer against the wall. Unfortunately, that program was on that computer. So now, basically, I'm kind of screwed, but I'm not screwed. Because I got the .voc, you know, all the files archived, you know, it, it, all the way from when she was, uh, uh, when she was, oh, fuck, see it reset again, you know. But, you know, I, I have to methodically do this and I have to, I have to edit it in, you know. But what I, what I did was um, basically I hacked, I hacked, I hacked my digital recorder. And I, uh, I got archives of .voc files all the way, all the way through. So, but unfortunately, like I said, you know, w w w the last time that I went down there, you know, uh, basically, that's, and she, and she actually, let me get this off of there. She actually set me up. This is what, this is why I'm saying that I feel like she's a borderline personality. Now, I'm not a doctor, but now I have access to, to, to my doctor. So, what I'm going to do, basically, is uh, I have got to find, I got to find that .voc, that program. But it would, like I said, this is what Bell did. You know, it, and this is why she's highly manipulative. Now, the thing is, is that, you know, she had invited Mike. This is why I told her the other day that you, you picked some losers. Well, Mike, Mike was a crackhead alcoholic, and the problem that, that arised in the shelter was I, I had my little ears open, and, and one of them was G-Classic. G the thing is, the, the reason why I know that, that she knew that, that G, what G-Classic said he used to do is he used to sit outside with his headphones on, but he would gather data out there, you know what I'm saying, to see what was going on in the yard. Now, G Classic, you know, right, right as Bell moved into to, into the, the apartment, G Classic came to me because they, they knew that I was that I was stuck on her and she it was hurting me. So they they told they, they you know they said you got to just let her go, man. Cut her loose. She's doing nothing but breaking your heart. So basically, you know, G Classic is the one that told me it, it wasn't Mike, Mike, Mike Ivers. 
that that uh, that he heard this from. It was Mike Ivers' buddy. He was he was uh, he was bragging around the shelter that that Bell's that Bell's apartment is a new crack hot spot to go down and smoke crack. The thing is, G Classic also told me that that. Uh, you know that before Bell left, you know she was buying pot from people. He was one of them. G Classic told me that uh, informed me that she tried to buy crack before she went down there. But G, G Classic looked at her and he says, you know, you know, you know, I don't do that shit. I don't sell it. I only sell pot. So the thing is, I still have G Classic's phone number. You know, and, and I haven't haven't talked to him. Oh yeah, this is amazing the way things work you know, with this, with the Holy Spirit and stuff. It's like, I went down to the, I went down to the VA hospital, and, and, and basically, is this taking, <laughs> taking macro mode, or should I turn it off? I don't know. Oh, it's making a good picture. It doesn't matter. It's amazing that who, who, you know, who he puts in your life when you just need them most. And basically, that's what I'm going to tell, well, I might as well just send this to her. You know, it's partial, but f screw it. it. It's it's basically a, a finished product. But I, I have to methodically go through through all these. Now, this is the this this will record all the text I have. I have uh, some under her for Stephanie Renee, some on Belly B Baptiste. But it's methodical. I just and I'm, I got to uh, just like I did there. I'm going to methodically go through each one of them, and it's going to show what she does. She'll, she'll, she'll say, do you want to be in a relationship? But the thing is, it's then, it's like on the Facebook page, you know. She, you know, she, she, I would post some stuff where, you know, you're not treating me very well. You don't even remember my birthday. So the thing is, then she, then she would come on my page and say, but we're not in a relationship. And this is how she does. This is why I think she's a borderline. You know, it's highly manipulative. And she, she was manipulative. Like in, in uh, when she asked me to move in, and, and that's that's on the phone log. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna email that to Bell today, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a, a basically like I said, I've been archiving all that stuff all the way through because I felt that she was a borderline. So I got her stuff all the way from when she was at her sister's house, all the stuff. And here's another thing that when you know on that one tape that I made that that she said stop trashing my family. This is what she does. And I've got it on audio, and this is the, the most amazing thing that you're ever going to see because there's no way she can get out of this. But I have to get that, you know, that, 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 that program again, you know. I don't know if it's still available. I hope it is. If not, I'm going to have to hack around it or, or do something. Maybe, I don't know, bone up on, I haven't programmed in a long time, but it shouldn't be that hard to change a .voc file. But like I said, I've archived this stuff, and this is what she does. This is what she does, and, and uh, the one, the one I got is priceless. It's where Bell, Bell, Bell was telling me that when she was little, her sister uh, Katrina would uh, would have her eat her pussy. You know what I'm saying? Now Bell, Bell is going to try to deny I'm saying that. But the thing is, the one thing that she can't deny is those taped archives that I made. And then it, it got to the, and this is what she does, and, and the, this is the, the amazing thing, the way this is working out, because basically I started to archive it, and, and, I, and, I, and here's here, the one that, the, the really, the whopper that she tells is basically that, that she told me that, you know, now she switched it up, she, she went really Darth Vader on this shit, she told, she told me that, that her mother, when she was little, that her mother and and everybody was into Satanism, and that uh, that that basically what happened was is that when they when they would get home from what you know they went to church. This is what I'm saying about her. They went to a regular church. The original thing that Bell told me was that basically the parents were uh, th th they were into themselves only. They were buy they, you know they would they would buy stuff for them. For, for them, but Bell was saying that she was neglected, the neglected child, you know, to and uh, where she wanted to run track and stuff, but they wouldn't help her out with any funds, and and could, and basically that that uh, she, uh, you know, she wanted to go to the prom or whatever, or go to a dance or whatever, and Katrina, and they wouldn't give her any money for it, and Katrina, and Katrina actually helped her, 
you know, to do that. Now, that, that's a believable thing. But this is what she gets into. And what she told me was that, that, her, that, that they were into Satanism. And, and what, what happened was when she was, when she was about four years old, that they would come home from what? Their, their satanic church. And they would beat her and kick her on the floor. And here's what she does. She, she, she'll ask me, you know, about that. Well, what do you think about that? And then I, I would say, well, and this is what anybody would say. I said, Bell, you know, this, this sounds like it's dysfunctional. I mean, that's definitely a dysfunctional thing. You know what I'm saying? But the thing, this is what she does. She'll, she'll take and she'll leave out what she told me. And then she'll, then she'll tell all of her whole family that I'm saying that her family's dysfunctional. And the reason why I know that she's doing this, because on the last tape that I made, where she says, uh, lose my number and stop trashing my family. This is how that I know what she's telling her family. But it, it's not true. But the thing is, and the beautiful thing about this, is I have it all archived. You know, how she going to, you know, and basically what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to take it up and do like I did before on YouTube. And once, you know, and, and make a, this is going to, this takes forever. You know what I'm saying? Now, the one that I, that I had to, to send to her, I already had the wave file. That's the wave file from the original phone logs where she asked me to move in. But the thing is, it is uh, one, one of the symptoms of bipolar with, is a hypersexuality. So she's claiming like nothing, you know, she's been, she was with a lot of dudes. She was with Mike, Mike Ivers, Mike, because I was, I, I was in the, they put me back, back in, into the, into the shelter and I could hear him calling her and, and basically what he says, come on, you know, you, you know what you need. Let me come down and stick you. You know what I'm saying? He took, you know, and so I could hear it. You know what I'm saying? Let me come down and stick you. You know, and she, it's the one that she, she he's the one basically that, that she met in the shelter and, and she was saying that she can't go walking and stuff because, you know, her foot hurts. Well, that one time when she asked me to meet her, you know, when, when I went to the library, she brought him in, you know, and then it, it started to rain a little bit. They were running in the rain and she, she was running like a deer. But, but when I asked her to go for walks, you know, she wasn't there, you know, she couldn't go because her foot hurt. This is the stuff, the manipulations that she does. You know what I'm saying? So, ba so basically, so so basically, uh, what is, who is this? Who's calling me now? Oh my God, it's her again. I got her on Stephanie Relay. But here's the thing: is I know what she's doing. You know, it's it's all manipulation. You know, here, let's take a picture of it right now. See? See, she's calling again, and, and she told me to lose my lose my number. But she's into the game. You know what I'm saying? She has this game that she thinks that she's gonna she's gonna best me in a debate or whatever. But the thing is, I have the I have the full archive of everything that she told me, every single thing. You know, like I said, you know, I'm, then what I'm gonna do is I'm uh, the first thing I could do to show her. That I'm serious is I'm gonna make a, another video and p uh, from from the from the uh, the stuff that I put on there for uh, what do you call it? Uh, it has all the notes and stuff. And wh here's what happened is when when uh, when uh, basically when before I before I went down there for the last time, and that's when that's when she she flipped out pretty much uh, and uh, and and assaulted me. But, but the thing is, is that I knew she was in trouble because here's the thing, and she's still in denial of this. She was, she was drinking a fifth of Christian Brothers a day and smoking crack and marijuana too. So the thing is that she entered, at that point she went psychotic. But the thing is, I knew she was in trouble and I cared about her. So what I did was before I went down there, it, it, because I, I, I hit her up on Facebook and she wouldn't answer for a while. Then finally, then finally she said, you know, come down. That's in, that's in my notes there. I got it directly from uh, the, the Facebook email that she gave me. So, so basically, uh, uh, so what happened was when I got down there this time, the last time, and the, the thing that she, that I'm talking about being manipulative is this Adam guy. And I'm, and here, I got the notes there too. 
I, I told Adam that she said she couldn't have a relationship with me. So I told him, it's like, I want her to be happy. So you know, I gave him contact with her.